Life is never dull in the fast food lane. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 drive through scenes from TV and film. Yeah, I'd like 6,000 chicken fajitas, please. I beg your pardon? Uh, 6,000 chicken fajitas. The drive through has not only revolutionized the world of burgers and fries, it has also inspired a whole feast of classic comic moments. Two golden menus. Thank you. For this list, we're choosing the funniest or most memorable drive through scenes to ever grace the small and big screens. What's Corwin doing tonight? Who's up for crashing a party? <laughs> Number 10. Homer escapes the cops, The Simpsons. Homer Simpson, you're under arrest for attempted murder. Oh! Yeah, that's what they all say. They all say dough. Forget the mystery surrounding who shot Mr. Burns. The highlight of The Simpsons' most famous whodunit episode was this inspired homage to the fugitive's breakout scene. Please pull up to the service window, please. But his escape was only made possible thanks to Chief Wiggum's fondness for bite-sized breakfast pancakes with extra dipping sauce. And more importantly, his complete and utter laziness. Oh, I don't want to have to get out. Ah, just drive up on the curb. Blug. Almost got it. Drop the food, Chief. Homer Simpson makes a fine Harrison Ford as he hops out of the way of an oncoming vehicle while handcuffed in a police van before hobbling to safety. Diane, I'm going to take my break now. Number nine, they f you with the drive through rent. Lethal Weapon 2. Hey, give me the food. Joe Pesci might not be the first person you would turn to for consumer advice. This is tuna. See, I hate tuna, okay? I refuse to get stuck with tuna now. Hey, Leo, don't eat the tuna. Oh, where were you? I just said that. I'm not eating it. I'm not eating tuna. Come on, let's go back. But his obnoxious character in Mel Gibson and Danny Glover's Buddy Cop sequel has a pretty valid point when it comes to the perils of ordering food via the drive-thru. Can I give you two guys a friendly piece of advice, okay? Don't ever go up to the drive-thru, okay? Always walk up to the counter. You know what? Okay, okay. The fact that most major chains still do 70% of their business this way suggests few listen to his rapid-fire, high-pitched claims, but we still can't get it out of our minds. They f*** you with the drive-thru, okay? They f*** you with the drive-thru. They know you're going to be miles away before you find out you got f***ed, okay? They know you're not going to turn around and go back. Number 8. Drive-thru hold-up. Menace to Society. Menace. Turn that motherfucking shit down. Menace to Society is considered an urban crime classic with its gritty portrayal of life on the South Central Los Angeles streets. I want your motherfucking Dayton's and your motherfucking stereo. But in among all the violence and profanity, there are also several moments of humor. Hi, may I take your order, please? Uh, let me have a double burger, uh, some fries. I said with cheese. Here, the film's anti-hero Kane not only steals a hapless guy's stereo at a drive-thru in broad daylight, but he also adds insult to injury when he demands him to order the carjacking special, also known as the double burger with cheese. Come on, man, we supposed to be brothers. Oh, what, you trying to get smart? Oh, you trying to kick some knowledge? that Give me your mother jury. Number seven, driving through the drive-thru, Tyler Perry's Medea's Big Happy Family. You right. You right. Michael Douglas in Falling Down. Well, hey, I'm really sorry too. Good. He has nothing on Tyler Perry's elderly comic creation when it comes to demanding breakfast food at lunchtime. We out of ham. You out of ham? Okay, all right, fine, fine. Then give me an egg and cheese biscuit. We out of egg. In the fifth film of the Medea franchise, the badass grandmother refuses to take no for an answer when she has a craving for a biscuit sandwich. Fine, then just give me a damn biscuit. It's 10.31, ma'am, and we just stopped serving breakfast. With little regard for human life, she drives her beloved Cadillac directly into the crowded restaurant before helping herself to a handful of early morning snacks. Number six, Doug's little problem, K-1. 
king of queens. Welcome to the Quickie Burger. May I take your order? Yeah, two frozy fudge blasts. Heaven help the guy who stands between Doug Heffernan and his frozy fudge blasts. Ah, who are we kidding? Throw in a number four. The parcel delivery man can hardly contain his excitement as he pulls into Quickie Burger for a quick fix of sugary goodness. It's 1244, pull to the front window. Gotcha. Unfortunately, his car breaks down just before he's able to reach the window to collect his order. <laughs> okay, you're not starting. Come on, don't, don't do this now. Don't do this. You're doing, you're doing this. You're doing this. You son of a mother! <laughs> After failing to fix the problem, he gets into an argument with the operative before taking his frustrations out on the restaurant's mascot in an open and shut case of fast food rage. You better just land on me. Please play cop on. Please play cop on. Please play cop. Number 5. Drive Through Death, Final Destination 3. Please tell me there's a short in your wiring. After narrowly avoiding a deathly roller coaster ride, eight classmates are inevitably then picked off by the Grim Reaper in this third installment of the horror franchise. <laughs> In this scene, Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Ryan Merriman's characters look certain to be death's next victims when a runaway truck comes hurtling towards their obstructed car. But after smashing a windshield in the nick of time so that they escape unharmed, it's the school pervert Frankie who meets a grisly end, sadly before he's even had a chance to sample his burger and fries. Number four, let's burn this mother down. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. What the hell's going on, Kumar? That does not look like a White Castle to me. This classic stoner comedy is all about that moment when only a particular type of burger will satisfy a serious case of the munchies. There used to be a White Castle right here in this location. Where is it? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, guys, but Burger Shack, they bought this location about four years ago. Unfortunately for potheads Harold and Kumar, their fast food joint of choice, White Castle, has turned into a burger shack. And the next nearest branch is miles away. There's a White Castle that's open 24 hours up in Cherry Hill. They briefly consider making an order anyway, but after Anthony Anderson's crazed employee reveals the secret ingredient of the shack's special sauce. It's semen. The duo reasons that a 45-minute road trip is far preferable to a bout of food poisoning. This makes me want to burn this mother down. Come on, Boogie, let's burn this mother down! Number three, if we get your order wrong, you don't have to pay, Wayne's World 2. Welcome to the Kitas, how may I serve you? In this 1993 sequel, Mike Myers and Dana Carvey return as the lovable but airheaded cable TV hosts who can't even visit a fast food joint without staging a prank. I'd like rulers, a ox, and a Makita cup. And then I think I would like a, a large with team. Instead of ordering their meal the normal way, Wayne and Garth try to trick the unsuspecting operative at Stan Makita's Donuts into thinking the intercom is faulty by using some clever voice trickery. Yes, and could I please have a heavy donut and uh, raspberry and a uh, drink? What? But the joke fizzles out like a flat soda when their order is then repeated back to them perfectly word for word. Let me try to recap the order. A crawler, two sugar pucks, a Stanley cup, a large coffee with cream, a raspberry jelly donut, orange drink, and a box of five holes. Yeah. Thank you. Number two. And then, dude, where's my car? In this unashamedly silly comedy, Ashton Kutcher and Sean William Scott star as two young dudes who attempt to retrieve the car they've lost the night before. Where's your car, dude? But of course, they can't do so on an empty stomach. Yeah, three orders of uh, wonton soup. And then? Oh, uh, some fortune cookies, too. And then? Uh, gosh, I think that's about it. And then? 
Sadly for our two stoner heroes, their trip to the Chinese drive-thru doesn't quite work out as planned. No, that's it. And then? No, and then. I, I, that's, that's all I want. And then? Thanks to some bullying sales tactics from a grouchy operative, the pair leaves without a fortune cookie in sight. No, and then. And then. No, no, and then. And then. Maybe you're start to piss me off, lady. And then. And then, <laughs> I'm going to come in there, and I'm going to put my foot in your ass if you say, and then, again. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. We just want to order some hamburgers. Oh, God, my mother, she woke me up today. She threw a pan of hot grease all over my chest and my ass and genitals. May I take your order, please? Yeah, I'd like three cheeseburgers, three french fries, and three cherry pies. What do you guys want? <laughs> well, hi there. Welcome to Friars Fat Boy. May I take your order? My diet is ruined. I hope you're happy. Uh, okay, two Renaissance wraps, no mayo. The robber was five foot two, white female. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. Number one, Carolyn's infidelity, American Beauty. I need that super smiley with cheese, eh? You need more than that, my little hombre. Topping our list is Sam Mendez's Oscar winner, in which Kevin Spacey plays Lester Burnham, an advertising executive in the full throes of a midlife crisis. Let's bring in the laugh meter and see how loud it gets on that one. You know the... Having been forced to leave his high-flying job, Lester becomes an unlikely employee of Mr. Smiley's. Smile, you're at Mr. Smiley's. His cheating wife isn't aware of her husband's career change when she and her smarmy lover decide they're in the mood for some curly fries. Would you like to try our new beef and cheese pot pie on a stick? Just $1.99 for a limited time only? Cue them canoodling like two love-struck teenagers as they pull up to the window, only to be greeted by an extremely familiar face. We were just at a seminar. Uh, buddy, this is my... Her husband. We've met before but something tells me you're going to remember me this time. Whoa. You are so busted. Do you agree with our list? Well, actually, Janine is senior drive through manager, so you kind of are on her turf. Which movie and TV drive through scenes are your favorite? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. <laughs> <laughs>